Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you today? Well, I've been feeling a little sad and anxious lately. Okay. And I'm not sure if it's serious enough for prescription. I have read about some herbal remedies online to treat depression and anxiety, such as rhodiola root, valerian root, and St. John's wort. And I was wondering if you could tell me more about this. Okay. Um, has your life become uh, a lot more stressful lately? Yes, I have many more responsibilities at work, and I cannot get enough sleep at night. How, how long has this been going on? About a month, and I'm really exhausted at work, and I cannot focus. Has your appetite changed at all? Not really. Okay, um, I think it's safe to say that you don't actually have depression, and don't need a prescription from your doctor. But um, can I take a look at the herbal products you're considering? Of okay. Okay, well, it's good that all of these have a THR number, um, which means they're regulated by the MHRA, which means that their quality has been insured by the government. And uh, this is good because there are still a lot of unlicensed products out there on the market. Okay, but the way they work? Their efficacy is based only on long-standing traditional use. Mm, I see. So, for example, St. John's wort has traditionally been used to treat mild forms of anxiety and depression, such as seasonal affective disorder and low mood. Okay, how does it work? Well, research indicates that there are certain chemicals called active principles in the product, and in St. John's wort's case, um, they are called hypericin and hyperforin, and these seem to be responsible for you feeling good whenever you take the product. How about valerian root? Will it improve my mood as well? Products containing valerian root um, have been traditionally used to relieve mild forms of anxiety and insomnia. However, researchers are still unclear as to what active principles are responsible for the sedative effects of valerian. And how does rhodiola uh, work? Well, rhodiola root is uh, different because it's considered an adaptogen, which means it helps you um, cope with stressful situations and can also increase your energy. Um, but like valerian root, researchers are still unsure as to what the active principles are that are responsible for the effects of rhodiola. And how should I know which one is best? Well, before deciding which is best, we should talk about your clinical history. Um, okay. Are you currently on any antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications? No. Are you on any blood thinners or do you have any cardiovascular problems that require medication? No. Do you have any kidney or liver problems or are you a diabetic? No, actually I'm not taking any medication. Not even contraceptives? Oh yes, I'm taking an oral contraceptive. Okay, well the reason why I ask is because St. John's wort has been reported to interact with a wide range of drugs, including hormonal contraceptives. Um, and it does this by interfering with the metabolism of the hormones concentrations in your blood. So you shouldn't suggest me take St. John's wort? Uh, no, I wouldn't suggest you take St. John's wort unless you want to use an additional form of contraception. Um, because mid-cycle bleeding or even contraceptive failure may occur. So, should I take valerian root for my low mood? Uh, valerian would help ease your uh, stress and insomnia. However, I would caution you with taking about taking caffeine and alcohol while taking valerian because it, they're known to interfere. They can either oppose or intensify the sedative effects. Well, I can do that. Uh, can I take rhodiola root for my anxiety? Rhodiola would help ease your stress, um, especially in situations where you need to concentrate, such as during work. And it also should um, help with the symptoms of fatigue you're experiencing from not getting enough sleep. Is it safe? Um, currently, there's no clinical evidence that suggests that there's significant interaction between rhodiola and other drugs or herbal products. So yes, it's generally considered to be safe. Okay, so rhodiola for my low mood and anxiety. And Valeria root for insomnia and anxiety. Should I take both? Uh, yeah, actually you can take uh, rhodiola during the day. So you would take one capsule uh, before breakfast and another capsule before lunch. You would take it with water, um, preferably 30 minutes before eating. And then you could take valerian in the, at night and you should take it with water 30 minutes before you go to bed. Okay, and how long should I wait before I notice any results? Um, you should take the products for about four weeks, but no longer than two months. And if during this time you notice any side effects such as nausea, intestinal cramp cramping, um, you should stop taking the products and consult your GP. And also during these four weeks, if you don't see any improvement, you should stop taking them 
and consult your GP as well because it could be something more serious. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, and uh, I would also like to caution you um, about getting enough exercise, sleeping, yeah. interacting with friends, and making sure that you eat healthy because these can help too. And also, uh, I'd like to advise you against uh, looking up products through internet forums. The yeah, okay. more reputable sources such as the MHRA website or even Stockley's list would be better. So just come back if you have any more questions. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.